When it rains on your parade, do you feel like the whole world is against you? Have your characters feel the same way. Welcome to Jen's Writing World. If you have a story to tell, you are in the right place. Let's do it 10 minutes at a time. Well, as you can tell from my intro, the cats have decided that they want to visit me in my office tonight. I just had Alfred jump on down and I have another one sitting right there. So I'm not gonna let that stop me. We're gonna do this video tonight. And if I have to deal with cat distractions, well, that's not gonna stop me from writing and I hope your distractions don't stop you either. So tonight, what I wanna talk about is setting. And we all know that setting is important to a story, but setting can also drive character and plot. As I mentioned in the beginning, you might have an event, maybe it's a couple's first romantic picnic and it rains on their picnic. How do they react to that? How does that change their relationship? Do they weather it and just think it's, oh, something we'll tell our children? Or do they feel it means the relationship is doomed? Setting can completely impact your story. It's not just background. So as you write today, think about perhaps how the setting can either enhance your plot or can add to character development or can just wreak havoc over your entire story. Let's get writing. Okay, today we're focusing on setting and character. I got the timer set for 10 minutes and let's go. Three, two, one, start.
I would apologize for the cats, but that's what writing is. It's cats and distractions, and at least I got 10 minutes of writing done. I hope you had a great 10 minutes of writing and that your setting enhanced everything else that you wrote about today. If you want to do more writing, um, you can hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell will get you notifications. A like is always appreciated. And I hope that you are sharing. We're almost done with NaNoWriMo, but it's not too late to bring your writing friends into Jen's writing world. Today's quote is from Chuck Wendig. Um, I read his Star Wars book a few years back and enjoyed it immensely, but he has many other books out there. He also has a great website um, for people who want to learn how to write. I will warn you that he does like to swear a lot. That doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, you might want to find other resources. However, he does have wonderful writing books, even if the language is a little colorful. And this is what he said. You are the maze maker. The character wants a straight hallway. It's the writer's job to set up the walls. When the protagonist's problems and the other character's problems overlap in the maze, that's conflict. And sometimes the maze can be your setting. So long from Jen's writing world. Until we meet next time, write, write, write.